In this video, we're going to focus on showing small changes in big numbers. In this video, we're going to focus on showing missing data. Missing data presents itself as null or empty values in our data set. It's always good practice to make note of the missing data. That could come in the form of either a footnote or a more visually visible format showing the actual missing data. Now, the other thing we may want to do sometimes is to actually replace the missing data, the null value, with zeros or let's say the word NA not available. Great. So without further ado, let's jump out into Tableau and see how we can deal with such situations. Here we are in Tableau. I've created simple line chart for the profit of a city in Austria, and I'm using the sample EU store data set. So here you can see that the profit is shown for 2015, 2016, and then jumps to 2018. So there's no data for 2017 and Tableau is not showing it because that's the default format of Tableau. It doesn't show null values. Here, what we can do is to right click on the year and choose show missing values. There we go. Or we have another option. We can go to analysis, go to table layout, and then show empty rows or columns based on the chart that we are building. Here we are going to choose show empty columns. The same result, the null value, the empty value is being shown on our chart, which could be super useful to avoid conveying wrong message to the viewer. Or sometimes we could just make a footnote in order to make it more consistent. Anyways, those are two different ways to approach the problem of missing data. The other one is when we want to show the missing data either as zeros or an A, not available. Here I've built a similar view of the data in table format and you can see that there are a number of null values. What we can do is to actually replace the null values with let's say zeros. For that we need a calculated field. I've already created it. I'm going to show it to you and walk you through it. Okay, here we have two functions. One is the zm function and the other one is the lookup function. Starting from the outermost function, the zn function, what it does is that zn function, as you can see here, it would return the value of the expression if it is not null. If the value in the parenthesis of zn is a null value, it would return zero. So that's exactly what we are looking for. We want to show zero for null values. But it's not as straightforward as the example over here. What we need to do is to make use of another function, the lookup function. So this whole expression over here. And what the lookup function does is that it goes and looks at the data, in our case profit. And as you can see here, it would return null if the target row cannot be determined. So if there is no data for profit, then it would return null then that null is fed into the zn function, which in return would give us zero. Brilliant. Let's put the zn function on text and see what we have. Brilliant, exactly what we're looking for. So we have zero for all the null values and we have the exact profit number that we used to have for the times that we actually have a profit. Amazing. Now, another format of the same data just to show you how it looks is I'm going to duplicate it. Let's say we want to see a line chart. So this is how it looks without showing the missing data as zeros. Now if I replace it, you can see that the missing values are replaced with zeros. Great. Now we can do another thing. We can replace the null values with a word, let's say not available or NA. In that case, I'm going to introduce you to another function called if null. 
So again, if null is similar to Zn, it's not similar to Zn. So let's see what that means. If null, what it does is that it returns the first expression if the expression is not null. If the first expression is null, then it returns the second expression we have here. As you can see in the example over here, if profit is null, then it returns zero. If the profit is not null, then it returns profit. Now, for our expression one, we have a lengthy expression. Here we have string function and a lookup function. The lookup function is working the same, which is looking at the data and returning null if there are no values. And then that is fed into a string function, which is there just to match the data type of what we have here. If here we have a, let's say a number, then we wouldn't need this string function over here. But because we are having a string over here as our second expression, then we need to convert our first expression to string as well. Okay, now let's put this one on the text. So now we've replaced the null values with NA. And as you can see, there's a bit of change in the format of the profit that we are seeing. For profit, we have 552 pounds, but here we have a long number. And the reason here is that if you remember, we changed the number format to string. So Tableau is showing us every digit of that number as a string. So that's something that you can easily work around, but it's beyond the scope of this video.